right, YouTube. Uh, so, doing some more videos. Don't actually have any guitars to do up just now. I've got a couple, but I haven't got around to them yet. Uh, so, this is my Aria Urchin Deluxe from 1982. 1982. Another Matsumoku made in Japan number. So this is a kind of mad, not a BC Rich shape, but it kind of looks right. I think. Um, a lot of BC Rich shapes always look wrong, or uh, uh, the, the genuine BC Rich ones normally look pretty good and well balanced. Um, I don't mean balanced as in the way it actually physically balanced, I just mean the way it looks. But this one, as a BC Rich attempt, I think looks pretty good, and you could almost get away with it being a BC Rich design. But it's not, it's an Aria. Or, <laughs> Matsumoku. So this has been hanging on my wall for the last few months, and nobody's mentioned it, but today, um, this wasn't the video I was going to do. But a couple of hours ago, someone said, oh, I like the area on the wall, so it's that mentioned, so it's getting, um, it's, getting it's getting demoed. Um, yes, so although this looks kind of, you can sort of see it's green and the terrible lighting in here, but it's an amazing quilted uh, maple veneer, I'd imagine. It's uh, really, really 3D. Um, if you get the light right on it, it really is about the best looking quilted top I've seen, you know, it looks like, you know, your, your really expensive PRS's, it's kind of that sort of ridiculousness, it's just a shame that it's such a dark green, that you can't really see it, you might be able to see it better in the back actually, and it's, uh, actually not really, you can sort of see it's a bit stripy, but as you can see this has got a trim block with a big metal block in the back, uh, you normally say STC Japan on it, it says STC made in Japan on it, so it's just a, a standard block, and it's got the, uh, Accurate, the accurate bolt on neck thing which areas tend to see it's got like a, quite a nice wee um you can see the neck there it's a wee bit sort of rounded it's not your squarey shaft it's actually it's even green on the back of the neck which is quite nice and you can see there that one of the tuners is wrong which is um this one here which is annoying i actually just recently bought a set of aria pro gold tuners for second hand on ebay and they're not the same ones so i can't decide whether I should be swapping them all over so they're all Aria Pro or leaving five originals and one odd one. The thing about it is you can't actually see it when you're playing because it's that it's that one that's wrong. Just if you look at the, the head, the, the shape of the button on the end isn't quite right. And it's also silver instead of gold. Yeah, so this is the Urchin Deluxe. There is an Urchin called, I think it might be, if I make it this the wrong way around, I think there's a U60 which is a sort of cheaper version, so it's just a solid colour. Um, and it's got, so this has got brass, um, and I think that might, is that gold? I think, I think it used, it is or used to be a gold um, bridge with brass saddles and gold tuners. Whereas I think the, a gold bit around the a pickup switch, I think the, the cheaper one maybe doesn't have that, it's just silver, and the U100, which is even more BC Rich, I think it's through neck, and it's got switches, I think it's active and such things. This one does have a switch on it there, but that switch was already plugged. That switch was, has been added later. It was already there when I bought it. Actually, when I bought this guitar, you can see the, the bridge pickup's not the right one. Um, these are the, this is the original MK45 pickup in the neck. But in the bridge of this guitar, it had a Gibson humbucker and a t-top gibson humbucker which i didn't really think sounded that good but basically i sold it and got nearly all the money back for the guitar so the guitar ended up being almost free because of that pickup this pickup is an old another area from a later on model i think although i'm not 100 percent sure just a sort of butter magnet one but i do have since i robbed the mmk45 pickup out of the west tone radar and put a super distortion in i might actually put it back into this one um i'm not sure if all the pickups that say MK45 on the back or MMK45 on the back are the same, or, or if whether they've just got this, you know, this the same bobbins and the same thing, but it might be a different winding on it, I don't know, because I've got a yellow West Tone, which I think I just did a video for a couple of weeks ago, where they, the pickups seem to sound absolutely fantastic. They really do. And um, I don't know if, we, if they're the same as what came in a West Tone as what came in this, 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 this or... or, or they're just the same bobbins and the same back plate, but different wire or different amounts of winds on them or whatever. I mean, you could probably measure them actually. With a, I might, I might, I'll measure them with a ohm meter to see if they're the same resistance. Because imagine if they were, they're pretty much the same pickup. But yeah. So this was got. Uh, doesn't have the original pickups. This switch. I can't remember what what, what was it. it did. 
it didn't do anything. I think the guy said it used to have an active boost thing added to it, so it was just a hole. So I put the switch in, and uh, when I when I got the guitar, because it had the Gibson thing in it, the, the Gibson pickup was the wrong way round, so it was actually a phase with this one, so I just made it a phase switch, and I just left it as a phase switch, so it knocks a phase round of one of them, so there's an, there's an in phase and an out of phase when you're in the middle position. Can't remember which way round it is. You get a volume in two tones. The volume is stiff, which is annoying, which has actually happened with my Aria... Oh, that's just, that's just going to knock things over. My, my Aria PE has got a stiff volume control as well, so it must be a... Must be a thing. Can I get that down without knocking everyone over? It's entangled. Oh, it's entangled on two guitars. Oh, 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 oh. Let go, let go, let go. Yay! Yeah, so this one, uh, this is a, an Aria PE 600. It's got, a stiff, it's got the same stiff volume control, so it must be a... Well, I think it's a 78, so... Whatever type of pots they were using, or maybe just not, or maybe it's just lack of use. I don't know. It seems to be a little bit less stiff now that I've started playing it. But um, I will replace it, I think. So there's no point keeping it original. Um, actually, I can feel it being a wee bit crunchy now. I think it might break. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll just replace it. Yeah, so it's got those cool, the knobs I like the best, the ones that have got wee notches on them. You can see it there. You get wee sort of notches on the outside. These are nice and smooth, and this one's just... <coughs> A bit stiff. Yeah. So make some noise with it. Oh, so it's now the volume's now up on it. It's annoying it looks black in the video, it's not black, it's green. Yeah, so that's the out of phase both pickups. Oh man, and I kinda just sit in front of the speaker. I hope that's not the uh, microphone, I hope that's not fucked it up. Back, back up. Bridge back up. actually sound quite good clean it's not very often when I was asked me I'm using my the big speaker cabinet now the 3x12 which um whether it's better quality than the, the internal um 10 inch speaker on that I think more speakers is better so I think three 12 inch speakers is better than a 10 inch even though I think that we that, that we uh, I'm playing through the wheelie there 15 watt it's got like a 10 inch Jensen speaker or something like that it's like a fancy one but I think three 12 inch Celestian vintage 30s I think they are are better well, just because it, like, more is better, louder is better. Um, but it sounds pretty good clean this guitar. But obviously, um, it looking very metally. In 1982, I'm not really sure you got, you didn't really get metal guitars as such. I mean, it's obviously it's quite spiky. It's a wee bit damaged on the edge there. I keep feeling actually, you can't really see it, but that's why, that's why how I could afford it. These things are sometimes quite expensive. <laughs> Bit of, a, bit of the rattle on, oh, the right hand of us. just the rattle. Kind of sounds a bit more like what I think it should be for. Let's pick up. 
That's a wee bit thin, isn't it? Both of them on. So about two years ago I bought this, uh, so these strings are two years old, but they are elixirs, so, which you'll hear me saying on pro pretty much all of my my own personal collection guitars. Uh, it seems, it's a it's a very nice guitar, it's really odd looking, it's kind of, balance wise, it's, it's got the thing that an explorer has where you can sort of balance it with your arm like that, and it's also got the thing that the Flying V has where you can sort of hook it on the inside of your leg to get it to sit at the angle I like. It doesn't, I wouldn't have said, it's not, it's not neck heavy at all. Oh, maybe, maybe, a, maybe a little bit, but not because you can hold it up with this or wedge it in with your leg. It's fine. I was actually, I've got a set of um, Yamaha Session 800 pickups, which I was thinking of putting in this. That was kind of why I brought it down and stuck it on the wall about six months ago. I was going out with the pickups because I wasn't happy with what was in it, but I don't know. It seems to be pretty good. And that bridge pickup is, uh, I think it's brand specific, it's just it's a bit newer, I think it's maybe from 86 or 87, when Aria started making these bar magnet ones. Um, it doesn't sound too bad. I don't know if anyone famous ever used these. I don't, I've not seen one on stage, I don't think. Um, often with these, this sort of type of guitar, you see you know, magazine ads from the 80s with, well, Ying Lee Malmsteen played a, an aria and you know, folk like that. Folk you've never heard of. But, um,
this on the way to use it. That's a really good high fat access. funny when you get one you don't have the right one it's like this one seems to be too close I want it to come up higher before it goes out um there's obviously a I wonder if I, I can't remember I wonder if I could just maybe if I wrap tape around it I, I want it to be more there actually um I might actually try taking this into the studio with the band. Um, the problem I have with some of these the, the crazier shaped guitars is they just can't get a, a bag for it fit in. They don't fit in normal gig bags. This one, although it looks quite mental, I don't know if it's quite as extreme as that West tone. So it might actually fit in like an acoustic gig bag or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, you know, the great thing about these, these, these crazy looking guitars is they look pretty amazing. It's, it is interesting, you know, they're great fun to play, it's just the, the, the practical aspect of having to try and get a case for them it can be a bit of a bitch. Yep, I think I'm just going to wrap a bit of um, PTFT tape or something on that to stop that wobbling and that tremolo arm will do fine. I can't tell whether it's actually gold. I seem to remember buying a gold one for it, but because the, the, the gold on it is so faded into silver anyway, you can't really tell whether it's silver or gold anyway. Yeah. So, another one of your absolutely amazing guitars that you can still get cheap, which you'll not be able to get cheap in a couple of years' time. I, I, I guarantee these things 
they're start, you, you do see, see them starting to sneak up. I think there's actually a couple on eBay just now for of the U60, which is the, the sort of planer, the, the budget one. But I mean, it's like when you look at the, the Japanese, the sort of 1982 budget guitars, they're budget because they don't have the fancy top and they don't have gold hardware, but it's still the same guitar. You know, they're still built. The build quality is the same. So, I mean, even the, even the cheap, same with those West tones, you know, the, the cheapest ones you get are still shit hot guitars. It's not like they've gone from like a, you know, like a Squire to a Fender. It's not like that difference. It's just, it doesn't have, it costs less to build because it's got less fancy bits. They still spent the same amount of time and money on making it play well, you know, and using decent wood. Maybe not as fancy looking wood, but still decent wood. You know, this would still wipe the floor with pretty much most modern guitars. Um, well, if you could get these new, they'd be, they'd be thousand, they'd be thousand pounds. You know what I mean? Just, I would think. I think volume control is getting slightly less stiff, but that's that's just because it's well, eighty two, so it's you know. I mean, a lot of these guitars are going to have their fortieth birthday soon. I think you could use this for metal. guitars if you're just um, want to get the bug for the, the 80s Japanese you'll see a lot of them advertised as Matsumoku but I mean areas are if they say made in Japan in the back and you can normally tell sometimes the serial number in this era is nice and easy it starts with a 2 for 1982 but they're, they're, they change the order of the serial number just to be annoying um, it's dead hard to actually I mean, that, that is a really it's an amazing colour it's just a bit of you can sort of if I can get it at the angle you can see that it's like, um, when you look at it, it looks like sand dunes. It's like, it looks like it's like a, a hologram almost. But you, you're not really seeing it. And also, they put that on the back. I mean, who does that? You know, it's like, okay, I can understand you putting a, a fancy piece of wood on the top. Unless the actual guitar is made of solid, whatever that wood is. I wouldn't think so. You can tell by looking at the neck as well. You, you won't be able to see it there, but it's got, um, it's a three-piece laminate neck which is a much better system. It means that uh, the original reason for that was because these things were coming from Japan and going to America and stuff like that, they were going on a ship, so they were going through extreme temperature gradients, so they had to build guitars that were much stronger and having three pieces of wood making the neck, you know, one with a grain running that way, one with a grain running that way, and then one with a grain running that way, makes it less likely to twist and warp. And So I think... Um, Apart from things like the pots going, which this one has obviously got a wee bit crunchy, this should outlast. I'd imagine this might even possibly still be running if you went in and bought a brand new Strat or Les Paul just now, this would still be working longer than what they are. That makes sense? So I, I would actually be tempted to put a brass nut on this just because, in fact, I wonder if that is the original nut. I wonder if I put it on, I don't think I did. I just said that for some reason being being white, it doesn't look right to me. And that's a, it's an aluminium um, truss rod cover. I'm not sure if that's original either. It just kind of doesn't fit in with the rest of the guitar. I get the feeling the nut should be black or brass. And that just looks like someone's made it. Or it doesn't look like it's made, it looks like it's been nabbed off a different guitar. It looks like an expensive one that's been nabbed off a different guitar. I feel like that should be black as well. But um, there we go. So, Ari Urchin, thanks for asking about it, whoever it was that asked about it, just gives me an excuse to actually use it. And I might be doing another video of this, I might, I still don't decide whether I'm going to swap over the pickups or not. Um, do I get the choice of putting in the the one out of the Raider, which would make it match, and would make it look original, or whether I put those Yamaha ones in, because those Yamaha pickups, I'm sure, are going to be absolutely fantastic, and there's not really any point in them sitting in my box, and then, because I'm a mean bastard, any guitar that I make, I'm not going to put fantastic pickups in it. You know what I mean? Um, if I'm selling a guitar for 100 quid, it's not going to have Yamaha pickups in it. Um, 
because the Yamaha pickups probably aren't worth that much money to be honest I think I think actually my pal Wayne bought them for me he paid something like 20 quid for them and you're like you know if there were Seymour Duncans or something you can go oh well they add value to the guitar whereas those ones aren't really they're not gonna they're not worth any money but they will be fucking brilliant rock and roll